What's up? What's new? We are uh, meeting after a week. I'm so excited that I'm gonna get connected with you all. Okay, so as promised, I am outside today. Uh, the weather is fine. I mean, it's kind of cold. That's why I'm wearing a winter coat. Uh, but it's it's sunny as well. So a very lush weather. Yeah. So right now the location is Festivity Ten. Festivity Ten is the building that you can see right now. This is uh, like a theater. Theater in the sense, uh, you know, like you can uh, uh, perform your art forms, like dance forms, and all these kind of festivals. Everything is conducted here. This is an international spot, like you know, a tourist spot in Hogesund. And um, nearby, you can see a park. Since it's summer, you all can see the flowers. That's all roses. And there are a lot of, you know, sofas, uh, th uh, th everything you can see there. That is because normally in summer season, if the weather is good, normally Norwegians do come and uh, relax there, have a chill bag, or rather have a chit chat um, with each other. So um, now I think enough of the introduction. Can we get into our topic? Yeah, communicative English. Today our topic is British English versus American English. All right. So all these sessions, we kept talking about native speakers, uh, British English, American English, Australian English, Canadian English. So today I will be, you know, discussing the difference between uh, British English and American English. Of course, both of them speak English. That's right. But uh, certain dialects, certain accents, even certain words are totally you know different in britain and in america um, nowadays we are quite common with american english because we we do watch a lot of hollywood mo movies so whatever english used in the hollywood movies is american english so we are pretty acquainted with american accent but when it comes to british accent uh, the official language in india is english as you all know same time the English which we are using is British English, especially when it comes to written, especially some when it is an official thing, the spellings, uh, the words, whatever we use in India is British English. I'll give you an example. Um, for example, in calendar, the, for the month of October, we write O-C-T-O-B-E-R. That is British English. When it comes to American, it is like O-K-T-O-B-R. And uh, same goes with the month of May. While writing, we write M-A-Y, but in uh, American English, they write M-A-I. So, it's not just about the words, there are differences in spellings also. But today, I will be focusing on the words, what American English says and what British English says, all right? So, we can categorize this into like four situations. One first situation is like, uh, for example, if we are talking about uh, people, all right, people, what do Americans use and what do Britishers use? That's the first situation about people. Second is food, what we eat. What do they say in American English? What do they say in British? And uh, third, we will be discussing about the certain terms used in our school, all right? And uh, fourth one, certain costumes. What we use all right so first scenario what we said is like about people okay people in the sense uh, for example um, um uh, talking about a boy okay uh, this is alex you know he's a boy or uh, this is uh, marina she's a girl all right so normally what do we use boy in normal english you know but uh, in British English, a boy is referred as lad, lad, L-A-D, lad means a young boy, hey lad, so they, they normally, so we say, hey boy, how are you, or uh, he's a boy, you know, or he's a girl, so instead, the common usage in Britain is lad, hey lad, you okay, hey lad, how are you, or hey lad, how is things going, so for boy, American English is boy. They don't use the term lad. So for boy, it is lad in British English 
and in american english it's boy of course britishers do use boy but thing is like it's like a common usage you know uh, other than boy they normally switch to lad hey lad what's up hey lad how is things all right so first is a boy in british english is lad and a boy is boy in american english now a girl her name is marina she's a girl so what do what do you speak in british english lass l a s s hey lass you all right hey lass where are you going hey lass what's up you know so in a uh, normal american english they use g a l girl hey girl hey girl or hey girl g i r l but in british english they use girl as well as lass so lass is like a slang a uh, casual casual usage hey lass what are you up to hey lass where are you going so one is first one is boy in american english lad l a d or boy in british english second girl girl in american english and lass in british english okay or girl also but uh, lass is like a common usage a casual usage right. now third one is um, we say post office you know um uh, you know post worker or postman so postman delivers letter you know my postman delivered a letter to me all right or postman comes to my house and deliver a letter so we normally in india we we use the term postman all right but what do we use that in or what do what is the term for that in america it's mailman okay mailman like we say email you know same thing same usage so a postman is a british english which we normally use in india same time it is a mailman in america so what we notice here is like in india we use both the english like you know we use american english as well as british english american english why the influence because we we see lot of hollywood movies so we normally use that american i'm sorry british english it's like official english and what we write and uh, of course the british empire or the british era we had in india that influence actually you know made us to follow the british english so uh, the mailman postman in american english, sorry in uh, british english what we use in india is a mailman in american english i hope it's clear for you now the th- fourth one is like uh what we say a lawyer advocate we say all right so um i will be filing a case against my neighbor and my advocate will be dealing with the case all right or uh, my brother is an advocate or we say my father is an advocate all right but in british english typical british english it's a solicitor my brother is a solicitor s o l i c i t o r my brother is a solicitor my uh, sister is a solicitor or my uncle is a solicitor that is a typical uh, british english but uh, when you when you talk about the american english it's lawyer of course in india we do use the term lawyer but uh, yeah for example my niece is a lawyer my nephew is a lawyer or my uncle is a lawyer so we use advocate same time we use lawyer also so lawyer l a w y e r is american english the same time in britain they use solicitor so this is the situation with people all right i think it's clear for you one is lad l a d for a boy they call boy also in british english but the casual one is lad and second is lass l a s s for a girl and the third we discussed about the postman in british english which is a male man in american english and the last but not the least solicitor is an advocate or a lawyer and we say sometimes advocate or sometimes we do use the word lawyer loyal is lawyer is um, commonly used in india lawyer is american english so we are using mix up both the languages all right i think that is clear for you now we can go to the second session second session is like about um, school i said yeah in in school we use certain terms can i borrow your rubber can i borrow your sharpener this is a co- quite common thing you know and we normally ask our friends do you have a pencil or do you have a pen or can i borrow your pencil can i borrow your rubber all right so we normally use the term rubber 
But in certain situations, certain people do use the term eraser. What is the difference between rubber and eraser? And which one is correct? In that situation, both the terms are correct. One is British English and the other one is American English. Okay. So, rubber, R-U-B-B-E-R. Can I borrow a rubber? Is British English. Britishers normally say rubber. And eraser, E-R-A-S-E-R, -E is American English. So, that means we use both. Nothing wrong. So, if you say, can I borrow a eraser? Nothing wrong in that because it's the American way. And if you say, can I, can I take your rubber? Can I, uh, can I borrow your rubber? Or um, can I use your rubber? Is again a British English. So, if you, if you use both the terms, technically both the terms are right. And uh, second is the costumes. Normally, when do our academic year starts? On, in the month of June, right? What is the speciality in Kerala? with the uh, June. It's our monsoon time, right? So we normally, what do we do? do we, we carry an umbrella or we wear a raincoat, all right? We call it raincoat. But there is one more term for the raincoat that is called Macintosh. M-A-C-I-N-T-O-S-H. Macintosh. What is a Macintosh? Macintosh is nothing but a raincoat. And uh, Britishers say Macintosh. Hey, it's, it's going to be rainy. Please carry your Macintosh. Macintosh or Mac. M-A-C. So they call it, instead of calling it Macintosh, they put, uh, you know, short form for that, calling it Mac. So what do we use? We use, like, you know, it's go going to be rainy. Let's use or let's carry a raincoat. We use raincoat, which is American English and what is the British English for that? It is Macintosh or Mac. I think it's clear for you. Now, second is uh, uh, the, again the costume. Um, I don't know whether in Kerala we don't use that, but still, uh, if you can see this, this, this shot, what I'm wearing, it's like a full shot. You know, it's it's still covered till my neck. This is called polo neck. We normally in India, we say polo neck. We say I'm wearing a polo neck t-shirt. That means it's, it's quite covered. It's still my neck. I'm wearing a polo neck t-shirt. So what do you, it is polo neck. When we say it, polo neck, it's called, it's, um, it's British English. When you say turtle neck, you know, this is called turtle neck in America. So when you're wearing this kind of costume, you say, hey, I bought a new polo neck t-shirt. It's very beautiful. It's blue in color or it's black in color. So Americans may say, hey, I bought a new t-shirt. It's like turtleneck and it's gray in color or it's blue in color. I'm so sorry. Is it like disturbing for you? There are a lot of seagulls. Can you see these birds? They are very common in Norway. They are carnivores. They normally eat fish uh, and I normally feed them, you know. <laughs> I feed them. They, they eat rice. They like our Kerala food. They like, they just, they just come in gangs and they, they, they just eat it, you know. I like them. They look cute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, other one is, for example, you're going for, the weather is good. You're going for swimming or you have your pond at home. You learn swimming. All right. Or you are uh, going to the pond or the swimming pool. Uh, so, what do we use? Like, you know, we normally say, I will use a bathing suit. Uh, but bathing suit is American English and when it comes to British English, it's a swimming costume. Alright, so we talked about uh, the clothes. First one is, um, what did we speak about? Yeah, uh, Macintosh, that is raincoat. We normally use raincoat, that is Macintosh in British English. Then second, we talked about this, a polo t-shirt, which is a uh, turtle neck. Uh, in American English and third one what we talked about is uh, swimming costume which is bathing suit in American English and uh, one more thing I forgot about the costume um, it is like um, we say I, bu I bought a new pant P-A-N-T pant we bought I, I bought a new pants I bought a new pants from the shop I bought a new uh, pants from uh, you know a textile shop so pants what we use P-A-N-T is it's like um, American English. So what do Britishers say? Trousers. When it is trousers, we normally think it's still a, a small 
small one we say for like till your knee length or till your uh, you know till here it's like till your knee length we say it, uh, you know trousers but for british english trousers means it's a full length pants so we use pants which is american english but the same time trousers are used in british english i hope it is clear another for thing another when it comes to this, this is like more or less like i mixed uh, uh, with school and the costumes because normally uh, in schools uh, we uh, while raining we use the costumes rain coats and all rain coats or mackintosh whatever so i just mixed uh, the school thing with the costumes here uh, yeah now coming back to the school thing um, which is your for example which is your favorite subject i'm asking you so some may say my favorite subject is english my favorite subject is english by the way i love english language it's like a passion for me. so yeah so uh, my favorite subject is english some some students may say others will say my favorite subject is science so i don't know how many will say this but some people say my favorite subject is maths m a t h s maths all right we say maths right what do we say in india maths m a t h s but maybe you you guys have heard the term math okay let's study math now or some people uh, especially i i think in mumbai they use math so what is the difference or which is right which is wrong again both the terms are right you can say it as maths and you can say it as math maths is my favorite subject or math is my favorite subject so maths is british english and math m a t h is american english so technically speaking both are right math is my favorite subject or math is my favorite subject now um in school about teachers where do normally teachers sit uh now i'm looking out for a teacher okay um, uh, where is uh, for example uh, abc where is teacher abc so oh i just uh, spotted her she's sitting inside the staff room so what do we say T uh, our teachers will go okay uh, there is a book on the table it's kept in the staff room go and collect the book normally when when we are in the class teachers are in the class we will send students okay my pen i think i forgot my pen it's there in the staff room at my desk go and collect the pen okay so you go to the staff room and you take the pen and uh, you give it to the teacher so staff room we normally say right it's uh, a teacher sit inside the staff room so staff room is british english all right and what do they say in uh, american english it's teachers lounge all right so where do teachers sit teachers sit inside teachers lounge which is typical american english and what do we say we say staff room teacher teacher will say okay it's my Uh, interval time i think i need to go to the staff room and rest for a while so staff room is british english and teachers lounge teachers lounge is american english okay now uh, uh, the uh, other example um vacations or holidays so after exams we are having onam holidays right or after exams um, we are having christmas holidays or um, after school i mean after the month of march we are having a summer vacation so we use both the terms holiday as well as vacation so sometimes we say summer holidays or sometimes we say summer vacation or sometimes we say oh our school will be closed for 10 days because uh, we are getting a vacation or we are getting some holidays holidays and vacations carry the same meaning when you use the word holiday it is american sorry it is british english and when we use the term vacation it is american english so the school will be closed in the month of may sorry in the month of march and after that we will be getting a summer vacation this we are using a american english and when i say uh, after the examinations we are getting 10 days holidays that is for christmas so when i use the term holiday that means i am using british way or british english i think it's clear for you okay now um, we use the term interval after you know uh, the second period it's a uh, interval or sometimes we say it's like a break time or a play time so when you use other than interval we normally use uh, interval in india but sometimes if we say um, break time or play time 
that means it is british english oh after uh, you know second period we are having a break time or we are having a play time but in american english they say recess r e c e s s oh after the second period it's recess it's a recess time for us we normally use what interval so other than interval we can use break time play time which is british or recess which is american i hope it's clear for you all so we discussed about costumes and we clubbed it with the uh, you know this, the terms also and one more thing i want to tell you this has been discussed in uh, our second session or something a friend is a mate mate is typical british english and a friend is american english so instead of calling friend just for a change you can call hey mate okay mate is british english and friend is normally uh, you know american english i hope it's clear now um, then we talked about rubber rubber is british english and eraser is american english then just a, a quick review math is american english and mathematics or maths is a uh, british english all right okay now the last topic is about food which is very interesting right uh what is your favorite food mine is like i like kerala food a lot i um but nowadays i don't eat much of rice but um i like um i like egg that is my favorite favorite egg omelet is my favorite okay now let's get into the food section all right so um, when it comes to food um in british english i'll talk about british english uh we normally say uh, my i like to eat a uh, biscuit you know when you have a interval uh, when you have a recess time or when you have a play time or when you have a break time uh, i used to, i like to eat snacks my favorite snack is biscuit all right so when we use the term biscuit we normally use the term biscuit right i like hide and seek biscuit i like uh, paleji biscuit so when you use the term biscuit that is american english and what do you say that in britain it's cone s c o n e wow hide and seek biscuit is my favorite snack and it's a very very good uh, you know brand and i like that scone so that is british english scone is british and uh, biscuit is american now the second one jam we use a uh, bread and jam is good combination a jam is british english and uh, americans do say jam but same time they use the term jelly j e l l y okay i hope it's clear and second is uh, when it comes to vegetable we say brinjal Uh, I like brinjal fry. I like brinjal fritters. So brinjal is quite common usage of India. But what do Westerners use? What do British people use? And what do Americans use? Americans d- doesn't say brinjal. They say egg plant. E G G egg plant. P A L N T plant. And uh, in British English they say aubergine. Wow, I like aubergine. My favorite vegetable is aubergine. So when you use the term or when when you hear the term aubergine. remember it is british english when you you know listen to the term eggplant remember it is american this this is pertaining to food and um, then it's like uh, when a biscuit is uh, when it's very sweet for example i'm eating something in sweet britishers say biscuit all right uh, uh, for example if it's a chocolate flavor and it's it has got cream oreo oreo it's like a biscuit when it is sweet they call it biscuit and uh, same time in uh, america they call it cookie my favorite cookie is oreo or in britain they say my favorite biscuit is oreo and uh, when it comes to coffee we say black coffee or uh, black or white coffee if it is white if it's with milk if it's black it is without milk so a black coffee is british in america they say with or without and in in india we say without with 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 or without is for sugar but in america with or without means without milk but we normally use british english by saying i would like to have some black coffee that is british english when you say um, i would like to have you know coffee without that means it's american usage and um, sweets we say i after dinner i like to eat sweets you know sweets is british english and uh, candy is american english like for chocolates um, or something they say wow i like to have some candy after my dinner uh, a dessert like you know would like to have a candy same time when it's sweet it's british english so i hope you all understood this so next time when you hear you can correlate okay this term is american this term is british oh here i'm using british english here i'm using american english 
much right so i think this session was um, quite interesting for you all you guys you guys learned something new from this and you guys i think really can differentiate now you hear something oh that's american english oh that's british english okay thank you so much for listening to my video i hope you all enjoyed this and um, enjoy your day stay safe i love you all take care bye bye